Hey Panda fam, so as you can probably tell from the title, unfortunately we have decided to pull out of the Nationals bodybuilding competition. It definitely wasn't an easy decision to make. Um, I know we've been talking about it a lot, we've been hyping it up, and it is disappointing, but honestly I think this is the best decision to make, especially regarding my well-being and my love for the sport. If you're new to the channel or you didn't know, I have been prepping for about 30 weeks now and I just finished a state bodybuilding competition. Coming out of that competition will meant to restrict my calories and get ready for nationals but considering the amount of time that we had we were a bit too lenient on our end. It was definitely something we didn't anticipate and so being exposed to like all the other athletes who finished their prep and weren't doing nationals and having that week of like just free eating it just completely threw me off and threw everything out of balance and like the most annoying thing is is that i knew what to expect out of everybody i i was even telling like some of my athletes like oh you should definitely be wary of you know the post comp rebound because you might overeat you might get into an eating disorder and lo and behold i was the one who ended up falling into that vicious cycle of binge eating and i mean like binge eating is it's a very common thing among like athletes and bodybuilders who've dieted for an extended amount of time but this binge eating disorder added with the stress of the upcoming nationals and a bunch of other factors ended up becoming like a normal eating disorder and it changed into something that started affecting like my mental health and just my general well-being and especially since I've never been exposed to mental health issues it was definitely something that was very scary to me and I just began shutting everybody out which was definitely not the right thing to do I ended up trying to like jump the gun and lowering my calories to like 1200 calories and doing like an excessive amount of cardio like we're talking about I don't know two hours of the treadmill and 900 on 900 calories on the Stairmaster at times and it was definitely not needed and I wasn't even prescribed that I wasn't even meant to do that much but because I was in this unhealthy mind state like I just kept telling myself that I need to drop weight. I'm not lean enough for nationals. I was beating my body up to the point where it was probably going to collapse at some point because I was even burning more calories than I was eating at times and it was definitely something my body was not able to handle and even my mind physically as well. And with all that stress building up from nationals and not feeling like I'm lean enough, that started just giving me really bad anxiety and I just didn't want to see anyone. I started getting really self-conscious because I was like, oh, you know, I'm not as lean as I was, you know, from the Canberra competition. And I just started feeling depressed. And I just started noticing, yeah, all these mental health issues and it wasn't fun. And then jumped to that Saturday, I posted an Instagram photo just talking about how I was doing, you know, why I was quiet for a couple of weeks, just because trying to get everything sorted with, you know, how I was feeling. I ended up feeding off everybody's support and used that as an excuse to kind of like keep binge eating, which was definitely the wrong thing to do. And so the morning after Wesley called me and he was like, look dude, you can't handle depletion. I'm gonna up your calories because that's probably the best thing we can do right now just to get you to adhere. And then so I agreed to him and I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. But I wasn't going to listen to him. I was just gonna stick to my depletion calories and then I was gonna lie to him and be like, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm on track, I'm on the amount of calories you set me on. And I was just gonna do my own thing at this point and just, you know, keep doing cardio because I was so stressed about trying to drop all this weight. And so I just completely lied to him. And the most annoying thing is that day, straight after the gym, I ended up getting pizza and just kept binge eating because I was like, yeah, you know, I'll get back on track tomorrow because I am going to deplete myself. I will make it in time. And then Wesley called me up that same day checking up on how I was and I lied to him again and was like, you know, I'm fine. I'm just grocery shopping while I was at Woolworths. But instead I was actually at Woolworths looking for just a bunch of junk food to eat, which was, you know, like what the hell was wrong with me? Later that night, you know, I was in the shower for about like an hour just thinking and I took a step back and was like what am I doing I started lying to my own coach who is one of the closest people in my life I started lying to friends and family saying you know I'm on track I'm adhering I'm going well and basically I was just lying to myself and I hated this person that I was just slowly becoming I didn't exactly want to find out how much further I could have taken it like 
because it definitely wasn't the person that I am. Basically that night, I called Wes and I was like, look dude, I need to come over, we need to talk. And then so collectively we decided that was when we needed to pull the plug on Nationals. And honestly, I think no matter what path or option I would have taken, I would have regretted something. 30 weeks was definitely a very long prep, especially just the pull out. And I don't know, maybe we could have just somehow gone through with it and ended up doing Nationals. Or maybe I could have even just done juniors and not do opens at all just because it was my last year in juniors but originally we were aiming for that pro card and I think that if I wanted to become a pro athlete in this sport then I'm definitely not ready to become a pro athlete and I guess like my expectations are kind of high but the type of person I am I'm the type of person who will either go hard or go home so I don't think I would have been very happy with myself if I decided to go through with it and my conditioning wasn't where I wanted it to be and at this stage I wasn't even enjoying anything like I hated the prep which is normal but I also hated training I didn't even actually want to I wasn't even looking forward to jumping on that stage because I was worried that you know I wasn't even going to get to the condition where I wanted it to be and originally if I saw this through the plan was to take like a long five year break but honestly I think that if I did take that five year break, I probably would not have even come back because I would have had a bad experience, a very, very bad experience leaving the competition. And I think I would much rather regret not jumping on that national stage now and taking that time to recollect myself, and the passion that I have for this sport and jumping on that stage much sooner rather than potentially hating this completely. And so basically the long term now is to focus on season B next year or maybe the year after or just whenever I feel like I'm ready. Short term wise, we're trying to get my satiety back to normal so that I can enjoy a holiday in Korea. And I am still trying to fight this eating disorder. My weight has been fluctuating like crazy because we are trying to recomp, but I am overeating. But I guess the plus side is that I'm not exactly binge eating as often as I was before. So that has definitely improved at least. My mood has definitely turned around um, I'm feeling a lot happier and I feel like this massive massive weight has been just lifted off my chest and I just everything just slowly feels like it's slowly turning around I'm not feeling anxious anymore I'm not really as depressed or anything like that um, and training has slowly been enjoyable again um, I am slowly starting to work back you know a proper training routine and everything like that and also because I don't have to spend like four hours at the gym just doing cardio. So that's definitely a plus. But yeah, that's what's been happening right now. I hope I didn't disappoint you too much and I hope you still keep following us on our journey. I'll post another check in next week and let you guys know how I'm going for my recomp and hopefully I have enough confidence to give you a physique check as well. Because at the moment I'm looking really, really watery and it is kind of disgusting. Um, so hopefully I can stick to my recomp and then tighten up a little bit just so I can show you guys what I'm looking like. But as always, thanks for watching again and sorry. I don't know if I should be apologizing, but sorry anyways. Um, if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to follow us on our journey and see you guys in the next one.